In this video, we are going to learn about the positive and negative angles which we use in trigonometric functions. So, what do you mean by positive angles and negative angles? To understand this, let me draw a few lines that we call it as coordinate axis. The horizontal line is called S coordinates and the vertical line is called Y coordinates. And this point of intersection of these two coordinates is we call origin. We assume that every distance actually starts from here, so sometimes we write it as 0, 0, where 0 represents the length in this direction, which is positive x, and the second 0 represents the length of this direction, which is positive y. This is plus y, and any distance measures from this origin in the opposite direction, that means in this direction is referred as minus y and the distance measured in this direction, the opposite direction of positive x is referred as the minus x. This point is again the origin of the angles. So, what is angles? Angle is actually the change in directions. If I'm here looking in this direction, the angles is referred as 0 degrees, but if I change the direction, this angle is measured from the positive x in the anticlockwise direction, and this will be referred as positive angles or we call it as plus theta. So, an angle measured by anticlockwise direction is a positive angle. I can turn towards my right hand side also, which will be called crosswise movement. And any angles measured crosswise is actually called the negative angles. So if I'm standing at the origins and looking at the plus s axis, and if I'm turning towards my right, that means I'm turning crosswise in this direction. So I will call the angles as negative angles or minus theta. So, the angles measured by crosswise directions is a negative angles. The result of trigonometric ratios for negative angles are given below. Sines of negative theta equivalent to negative sine theta, cosines of negative theta equivalent to cosine theta, Tangents of negative theta equivalent to negative tangents theta. Let us see how the trigonometric ratios of negative angles are determined. To know that, first we might have to understand ASTC formulas. A stands for all trigonal functions are positive in first quadrant. S means sine is positive in second quadrant. T tangent is positive in third quadrant. C cosine is positive in fourth quadrant. The ASTC formulas can be remembered easily using the phrase a smart trigo class. The key concept of negative angles is whenever we have negative angles in trigonometric ratios, we have to assume that it's fall in the fourth quadrant here. It means that in the fourth quadrant, cos is positive. So therefore, we only have the positive value for the cosines of negative theta equivalent to cosines theta. Let's go through some examples here. So we are going to evaluate 
the trigonometric functions tangents of negative 210 degree without using calculators. So since the negative 210 is a negative angle which measures crosswise directions. So we notice that it will be 4 in the second quadrant with the reference angles of 30 degrees. So the tangent is negative in second quadrant. Therefore, the tangents of minus 210 degree is equivalent to negative tangents 30 degrees. We may use the value of spacious angles. So you have the negative 1 over so 3. We may do the process of rationalizing with so 3 over so 3. So therefore, we are going to have the negative set 3 over 3. The alternative methods. By applying the negative angles properties tangents of minus theta equivalent to negative tangents theta to solve this problem. So, for tangents negative 210 degree it will be equivalent to negative tangent 210 degree so we just look at tangent 210 degree so you will be fall in the third quadrant with the reference angle of 30 degrees so therefore we are going to have the negative tangent 30 degrees and we apply the spacious angles we have the negative 1 over set 3 so again we may do the process of rationalizing we multiply with set 3 over set 3 so we will have equivalent to negative set 3 over 3